As most of you already know, I decided last week to tackle painting a prickly blooming cactus. What most of you guys, however, do not know is this little bad boy was a real pain in the you know what to paint. Yeah, I ended up painting this guy three times before the final product on film. So here is a warning for you. This painting may look easy, but it's actually really complicated. So if you do not want to lose your way, then follow these simple steps to get you from point A to point Z with little to no injury. Now, before we even begin, every craftsman, or in my case, craftswoman, needs some helpful tools. Here is a list of the ones that I recommend for this project. I'm sure you guys already know the drill. Once you've bought and printed out my template, go ahead and find a bright window and trace the drawing onto your watercolor paper. In order to keep the lines crisp and clean with no smudges and smearing, I always use a Micron 005 waterproof ink pen. Not a marker, not a Sharpie, not a regular old pen, but an archival waterproof Micron 005 pen. And yes, the size really does matter. With your Micron pen, I recommend tackling the larger sections first and then filling in the finer details. This is the progression that I recommend. First, I would outline the cactus, then the pot, next the words and the label, and finally the flower. After you have completed this, I then recommend you go ahead and add those small lines known as crosshatching to signify where your shadows are located. Lastly, go ahead and add little U-shaped half circles for where you want those prickly cactus stickers to be located. The first rule of watercolor is when paper comes in contact with water, it will warp and bend, potentially even rip. To prevent this, simply tape masking tape along the edges of your paper onto something flat and hard, such as a wooden board. The second rule of watercolor is always try and preserve the white of the paper. This is especially important for highlights. Remember that it's always easier to go darker, but a lot more difficult to go lighter. To help solve this problem, masking fluid is like gold to any watercolorist, especially with those difficult regions. With a bamboo skewer, which you can find at any local grocery store, simply dip this into your frisket also known as masking fluid, and dab it where you desire to keep your painting white. I recommend adding this to the center of your flower and also to those little U-shaped 
circles along your cactus where your prickly stickers will be located. After you're done, make sure to let this dry. And that is it for part one where we basically tackled the finer details of this painting, the setup and the inking and that whatnot stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that other youtube stuff that you guys know so well. And if you would like to go to the next part where we are painting this cactus, then go ahead and click now.